Hello, Mandla. It's great to speak to you today. Yeah, thank you so much, so much, uh, Madam Chair. It is a real pleasure to be talking to you today. Please, could you share a little bit about excellence in agronomy? In my role as work package lead for Deliver, a lot of the work that I do is focused on what I think the CGI are considered to be one of their most important tasks at the moment, which is how do we deliver good quality agronomy science to farmers we need it. I understand Excellence in Agronomy is a global initiative with a very large local impact. Well, uh, it's important to discuss the footprint um, and here's why. The challenges that we face are global and if we're going to properly respond to them, we need to be harnessing global talent. And so EIA, or Excellence in Agronomy, is a global initiative that is active in all the six regions of the CGIR. At COP27, you said smallholder farmers don't have the luxury to wait for the world to figure things out. They need immediate, actionable solutions now to help them adapt to climate change. Uh, so Lindue, you're raising a very important point. Um, my belief is that we cannot afford to be uh, debating, deliberating when farmers this season want to know that because it's an El Nino year, for example, in Southern Africa, where we both come from, what does it mean? Should they still plant the same variety that they planted last year? When are the rains likely to come? So, the farmers are not interested in what we will deliver 10 years from now. They're interested in what their current season is going to look like. So this is really what we are saying about the urgency and the need for us to deliver solutions now, 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 and not tomorrow. Otherwise, our agronomy science is going to be irrelevant. One thing I love about this initiative is the focus on collaboration and cross-learning among CGI centers and beyond. The magic and what I would like to think is the secret weapon of excellence in agronomy has been its ability to bring more than 10 CG centers together. So our ability to assemble 10 centers and within those centers to put together a global team of over a hundred experts you know, from agronomists to climate scientists to socio, uh, so, so, socio economists, bring them all together to respond to the biggest challenge of our time, which is how do we improve soil health, improve climate resilience, improve resource use efficiency, and ultimately help farmers achieve better yields and profitability. I think that's where the secret source is going to come from and how that embeds itself into agronomy scaling ecosystems is really going to be a game changer. How can my colleagues and I at the CGIR System Board help excellence in agronomy flourish and grow into the global powerhouse we know it can be? What has been uh, helpful is realizing that you as the System Board, first of all, are committed to creating a CGIR that is one, but that is one because of the way it is working, the way it is being experienced by the outside world, our partners, our farmers. I do believe that as a system board, your continued modeling of this uh, uh, ethos and approach, first of all, is helpful. Secondly, I think your ability to convince you know, our partners to, to continue to support uh, the work that we are doing and to really make sure that our agendas are, are, are aligned from a strategic point of view is extremely helpful. Is there a final message you would like to share? My final message is that we now have an opportunity to really advance agronomic gain so that we realize the full potential of the genetic gain. This is a now or never moment and opportunity. And I think if we take hands and work together, transformation of smallholder agriculture in the global south is possible in our lifetime. 
Thank you so much, Manda. What you have said is music to my ears. Kudos to you and everyone who is part of this excellent and agronomic global team. You are really making a difference. Keep the focus on smallholder farmers with all the expertise of one CGR behind you. And I am sure to hear great examples of impact the next time we meet. Take it to the farmer.